Hey, so the first thing you want to do when learning an instrument is picking which one you want to learn. There are a lot to choose from, so just make sure you take some time to research what appeals to you. For example, you might be interested in the piano, guitar, djembe, theremin, bread, or even a plastic jar of peanuts. Unlike most instruments, you can actually find this one growing on trees in coniferous or deciduous forests, and they've also been known to grow under certain subspecies of ferns. As a side note though, um, you should not eat your instrument because it isn't good for the longevity or the resale value. Uh, when picking out your instrument you want to learn, just remember that sound, flexibility, practicality, and noise complaints from your neighbors should not be taken into account. Pretty much just pick out whatever looks cool to you, or whatever everyone else is playing. Got your instrument? Cool. Let's learn how to play it. I've picked out the piano, because this is the instrument I find morally superior to all the others, and I also already happen to own one. So the first thing you want to do is get an understanding of the notes of your instrument. Even some drums have different notes because the vibrations from the surface you hit reverberate at different frequencies. So now that you've learned the notes, it's time to move on to scales. Scales are super important because each scale corresponds to a certain key, which is just a fancy way to categorize notes that create a certain um, mood, I guess you could say, when you play them together. And basically every coherent song is built on a scale or multiple scales. Now I'm just kidding, that would take so much time. The only people that really care about scales are music teachers anyways. Okay, it's time for you to find an easy song to play. For efficiency's sake, I'd recommend picking something top 40. Um, they use the same four chords anyways, so once you've learned one, you've probably learned 95% of them. I would play these chords for you, but I'm worried that if I do, I'll get a copyright strike from 10,000 different producers. Don't be discouraged if it's not coming to you right away. We've skipped a lot of fundamental steps here, so just be patient and learn note by note. So I've just learned how to play the song I wanted to learn. It's called Depression in E Minor by Chopin. Oh man, this piano could really use some tuning. Now at this point, your journey into the world of music can go one of two ways. Either one, you've already given up learning the notes and you regret your expensive purchase. So now you keep your instrument in the closet, attic, or basement because you can't face what a waste of money you've just done. And so your instrument just sits there, lonely, unused and rusting, collecting dust and being forgotten. Or two, you've already learned your song. So if you've learned your song, congratulations. But this is no reason to get excited because learning one song does not mean you've learned how to play your instrument. Uh, learning an instrument can take years of practice and becoming a master can take even more years of practice and dedication. But no one really has time for that. So just post a video of yourself playing a song with your instrument on Instagram and everyone will automatically assume that you can play that instrument. Remember, it's not about personal growth and satisfaction here, it's about making sure other people think you're talented. That's pretty much all you need to know about learning an instrument. Just remember, if it isn't going for you, you can give up, or you can play the bread. I hear the bread is a super easy instrument to learn. <laughs>